Hi everyone, welcome to Brookdale Farm. Today I thought we might have a look at cleaning our seed ready for seeding. Now when we talk about cleaning seed, we don't mean polishing up the individual grains of seed. We mean getting any of the foreign material out of it. So this is part of our pea crop from last year. Because we had bad waterlogging issues, we couldn't get onto the paddock to spray our paddock and we, because we kept getting bogged. So we ended up with an awful lot of radish in it. These seeds here are the peas and these are what we want to plant. All these other things, that's a radish seed there. This is pea seed pods. Um, if you leave them in, they can block up the cedar. Obviously, we don't want to be planting the radish because that's a weed that we keep trying to get rid of. So we're going to have a look at how we clean, well, one way to clean the radish out. Here's a little piece of ryegrass seed even. This, this little seed here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go and have a look at our seed cleaner and I'll show you how it works. So this unusual looking green spiral thing here is called a gravitator and it's a very very simple seed cleaner made by Robert Boddington in Melbourne um, and the seed runs there's a small hopper at the top the seed runs down the spiral and the heavier seed goes to the outside all the light stuff stays on the inside of the spiral and these are one of the most effective seed cleaners that I have ever seen you don't see them very often now because they're incredibly slow so most people who used them had two or three or four or six of them set up all running together this particular seed cleaner was used by the Fontanelli family down at Fonty's Pool near Manjimup in the southwest of Western Australia. They had two of these that they used to produce certified clover seed. Now to get clover seed certified for sale it has to have almost no contaminants at all in it. Uh, so they would bag up the clover and leave the bags open and there would be an inspector that would come around and inspect every single bag to make sure that it was pure enough seed to be sold as pure clover seed and then he would put a lead seal on it to close the bag up so that nothing else could get into it this one was kindly donated to me by lee fontanelli from uh, uh, who lives down in manjimup still uh, so we're going to set it up now and we'll have a quick look at how it actually works. Because of how tall the gravitator is, the only place that I really have to set it up is in this little bit of a ditch here next to the grain bin on the back of the truck. Then I can get to the top of it from the truck bin to put the grain in. One of the reasons it's so tall is we need this long spiral the longer the spiral is the better it separates out the grain as it's coming down then we've got a number of shoots off the bottom here um, and this is where the grain comes out uh, so we get rubbish seed in some of them and we get our clean seed coming out other ones they need to be high enough to put a bag underneath to catch the grain uh, so we're going to set all of that up now At the top of the gravitator we have a very small hopper here where the grain goes in and we have a door around this side that we can open and close. You can just see down here where the grain runs out and starts running down the spiral. Now this is really a very small hopper so we're going to put a bit of a bigger hopper on there just a temporary hopper so that we can fit a bit more grain in there. So we've set up our small temporary hopper on top of the gravitator. Uh, we've, we've got a hole in the bottom that allows it to run into the small hopper that's on the gravitator. We've got the door on the gravitator set to about half open. 
Now the slower you can run grain through these, the cleaner it gets. Because if you run it through too fast, it overloads the spirals and you start getting the, the dirty weed seed jumping into places that it shouldn't be. So we're going to uh, throw some buckets of grain into this now and we'll have a look at how it works. So one of the things that I found interesting when I got this from the Fonzinelli family, one of the comments they made was about the noise that it made and how clearly they remembered the sound that it made. And I was really surprised at how much noise this makes for a machine that actually has no moving parts. So each one of these buckets that we're putting in is about 10 kilos. So there's 10 buckets to 100 kilos. There is 100 buckets to a ton. So there's quite a lot of work if you want to do any amount, large amount of grain through here. Of course, normally we wouldn't be packaging the grain through. We can see that right up the top of the spiral here, all the seed is still on the inner spiral. As we move down, more and more of the peas have uh, moved out to the outer spiral, and the weed seed we can still we can see still moving down the inner spiral. By the time we get right down to the bottom of the spiral here, we can see that the peas are all on the outside of the spiral. They are the heavier seeds, so centrifugal force makes them go further out around the spiral. And the weed seed, being a lighter seed, is still right in the middle of the spiral. This first bag of uh, seed that we get out of it is all the really small light seeds. So these are mainly ryegrass seeds. There's a couple of bigger ones here which have radish seeds. Uh, but that takes out most of the bits and pieces. The next bag here has a few peas and stuff in it too. And we can actually set the divider in the seed cleaner to separate these out a bit better. But it's also got the larger bits of radish in it. I'm not too worried about having some peas in here. Um, the radish is actually a really good animal feed. It's a higher protein even than the peas. Uh, so it's a really good way of putting weight onto the animals. Uh, so we are going to grind this up and feed it to our sheep and cattle. The radish is a very hard seed, uh, so the sheep and cattle actually don't digest all of it. Uh, but if we crack the grain up first so it will not germinate in the paddock later, uh, this also means that uh, they, uh, they get more of the goodness out of it. This last bag has pure peas in it with almost nothing else. So this is seed that we can either plant or sell. This stuff we'll be selling as we've already put our crop in this year. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned a little bit from it. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.